Ben Burt is responsible for most, if not all, of our favorite Star Wars sounds. The voice of R2-D2, which in many cases was Burt's own voice synthesized. Darth Vader's menacing breathing, which was actually created by Burt himself breathing into a scuba regulator. He created the humming noise of the lightsaber and even the laser blasts. Burt spent a year cataloging sounds from different animals, bears, walruses, and dogs, which were then used to create Chewbacca's growls, groans, and grunts. Burt's influence on Star Wars played an integral part in creating the universe that we all love. His touch gave life to characters, objects, ships, and much more. Ben Burt was born on July 12, 1948 in Jamesville, New York. He graduated from Allegheny College in Pennsylvania with a major in physics. Burt then won a scholarship to the University of Southern California for his work on a special effects film called Genesis and earned a master's degree in film production. His method was to search out natural sounds, combining them and creating unique effects. By combining the interference caused by a TV monitor and the idling hum of a movie projector motor, he created the lightsaber sound. The sound of Star Wars blasters was achieved by hitting a hammer against a radio tower's guy wire. Most science fiction films at the time had hyper-electronic sounds, synthesized and artificial, to match the futuristic objects and environments. Ben Burt gave the sound of Star Wars a natural tone, using real-world objects in new and inventive ways. But Ben Burt's contribution to sound design and film doesn't end with Star Wars. He created the voice of E.T. using the voice of an elderly lady with a low-toned voice. He was responsible for the voice of Wally. Burt was the sound designer for Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, and The Force Awakens. Willow, Munich, Star Trek 2009, Star Trek Into Darkness, Super 8, Red Tails, those are just a few of his sound design credits. He has touched many other projects such as Toy Story 3, Lincoln, Escape from Planet Earth, John Carter, and many other small and big projects. In the past, Ben Burt directed a few documentaries, Blue Planet, The American Gangster, Destiny in Space, Special Effects, Anything Can Happen, and Manassas, End of Innocence. In 1977, Ben Burt won a Sound Effects Editing Academy Award for Star Wars. In 1981, he won that same award for Raiders of the Lost Ark. In 1982, he won the same award for E.T. And in 1989, he won yet another Sound Effects Editing Academy Award for The Last Crusade. He has a very brief appearance in Return of the Jedi. Freeze! Ben Burt's influence on the Star Wars franchise cannot be overstated. The sound in all of the films is as iconic as the visuals. It's as memorable and inventive as what you are seeing on the screen. If Star Wars had the typical sci-fi sounds of other films released in the 70s, would it have stood up? Would it have had the same impact on us? I don't think so. Whether it's the stomp of an AT-AT's foot that was created using a shearing machine and a dumpster door, or the decision made when finding alien languages, Ben Burt stands as one of the most inventive and unique sound designers the film industry has ever seen. Heard? Heard? Has ever heard? The film industry has ever heard, that makes more sense. Without Ben Burt, Star Wars wouldn't be the Star Wars that we all know and love today. It would not be rooted in the natural world. It wouldn't feel as grounded as it feels to all of us. So, Ben Burt, thank you for creating the sound of Star Wars that we all love. I'm extremely happy to see that you're back to be the sound designer for Episode 8. I'm sure we're all in for a fun ride. Hello Greedo, out. with you at Connect Begin. It's like doing here.